Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from an underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather, I'm Laura. And I'm Quinn. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today. Accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they found out. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Ollie with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer Jackson. Mr Wolf, you've been accused by the three little pigs of huffing and puffing their house down. How do you feel about these accusations? I feel good about blowing the house down because they called me the big bad wolf. So that is who I'm being. You've been caught impersonating both the grandmother and the sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? I'm the greatest villain and the handsomest one too. What do you have to say to all those people in the faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I say you're right, so don't look at your window tonight. Thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for the news of escaped kidnap heroes Hansel and Gretel. This story, story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for, for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Brood Crimes, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Marangi was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the terrible tale. Kia ora, I'm Marangi and here with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all of that jewellery in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending? Well, I'll probably go out and buy myself a glorious mansion, go shopping with me, myself and I. And then I'll go out to a fancy restaurant where the cost is 6000 per meal. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened by eating. How did you do it? By going for runs every day and going to the gym. What have you learnt through this experience? To never leave free crumbs as a trail, only unless we want another great book published. Well, thank you for your time on your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of a celebrity couple, Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales on their album of the Utes, say, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter Kaylee. Thanks Laura and hello everyone. I'm Kaylee here on the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. Now yours is a classic love story where you two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? Terribly wrong. We are no longer right for each other. Your recent album did not sell well. Oops. I'm stuck. And your fashion label has gone bust. What next for you two lovebirds? The reality is, she can't cook. Clean. No, it's not. Clean. And she has. It's Melody's bar. Well, I think B should be locked up in this cage where he belongs. So, so you are something of a beauty beauty and you are a total beast beast. What is the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? The reality is she can't cook, clean, she watches terrible TV shows and she hasn't showered in weeks. Your recent dub album do not sell well. And your fashion label has gone bust. What next for you two lovebirds? Well, I think B should be locked up in his cage where you belong. Divorce! Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Okay.
Thanks, Kaylee. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Caden. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everyone. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark for us will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be fifa fo for reason. Finally, trolls living under the bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy working week. F- it's a happy. It's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. That's all for tonight. Although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our last interview. He is hungry, angry, and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Paul Marie. Ray, go!